Hello everyone, my name is Elizabeth and I just recently purchased my Cricut machine on an exchange for $30. I believe they retail anywhere between a little over $100 or right at $100. This specific model number is a CRV001. It weighs anywhere between 8 to 10 pounds and it measures 15 inches long, 7.5 inches tall, and 7.5 inches wide. I purchased it with the power cord, two mats, and the user manual, and again, I got a really good deal on it, $30. Um, I'm really excited about that. This machine actually comes with two handles, um, one handle um, here, another handle on this side, and then also a really nice um, handle right up here to be able to carry it. So, Okay, well, let's get started. These Cricut machines all take what is called a cartridge, and I call this a cartridge cassette, just in case you hear me say that. Um, the uh, cartridge actually comes in this plastic container. I bought this one at Joann's, and I got it for $20. I did check Michael's. They had it for $45. So please go to Joann's to check and see if these are on sale. Now this one here, it actually comes with the cartridge. It comes with a book on all your fonts or designs and then it also comes with your fonts keypad. Here. This dial here is actually a size dial. You can make your design from a one inch all the way up to a five and a half. Today I'm going to make my design at two inches. I'm going to leave it at two. This dial knob here is actually a speed knob um, or dial or button, whatever you would like to call it. And this actually works depending on the kind of paper you have. If you have a more thicker paper or a more um, denser paper, then you want you might want to use a higher number. This also goes from one to five. I use it at a four with the type of cardstock paper I'm using. Now, if you have tissue paper or something a little bit more sensitive, then you might want to use a one so that way it doesn't tear through it. This dial here, it actually works for the pressure that the blade puts on your paper to be able to cut. Now I've tried it at a size one, two, or three. Four seems to work best for me, but also this does depend on the type of paper you have. So let's get started and open our machine here. So this is how it goes, and what we're going to go ahead and do is put our cartridge here, and we're going to use um, our keypad here. It's nice and rubbery, but it looks a little a little sensitive here. So put that there, and then what I'm going to do is take the mat, and these mats are normally sticky, but sometimes they lose their stickiness. There's a remedy to that. You can always put some tacky glue, let it dry, and it'll it'll get sticky again. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put my paper here, and I'm going to uh, take my scraper here, and I actually got this scraper with this spatula here over at Joann's for $7.49. I know that um, Michael's had it, but they had it for $16. So what I'm going to do here is just apply some pressure because if this paper moves, it will ruin your design. So I'm just going to apply some pressure here. Now the best thing for you to do is to play with your machine. Don't be afraid of it. Just get some scratch paper like I did and start pushing buttons on your machine. Now let's go ahead and insert this. Now once you use your readers, uh, your user manual, you'll be able to see what these buttons actually mean. So please read your user manual. It will give you a lot of information on these dials here and then some of the functions here. So I'm going to go ahead and what you have to do in order for it to accept this paper is go ahead and, and hit load mat. Now you don't want to put this up too high. You just want to put it at a level here just to be able to guide it for the rollers. You want to go ahead and hit load. And so what I want to do is I want to print my son's name. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to hit 
um, the shift button for every letter in my son's name because I want it capital. So his name is Mason. That's what I want to do it at. Let's see if you can see the LCD screen up here. And I want an actual condensed letter. And what I mean by condensed is I want the letter to be skinny like this one here. And you'll understand what the letters are once you go through your book here. It'll actually tell you the name of the uh, the letter. Now see you have this one. It's called um, condensed and it's got the the type of lettering or number that's condensed. So. I'm going to go ahead and just hit that button condensed. It'll tell you feature three is on. I'm going to go ahead and push cut because that's what this system is designed for. Usually we use print or enter, but it's going to be cut. Now just so you know these cartridges here, when I got it at Joann's they told me if I open it it's mine, I can't return it and I can't get store credit. So make sure you get the one that's going to work for you. Okay now this is done. Once it, it rolls over all the way to the right hand side it'll tell you it's done. So what I'm going to do is hit unload. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and push this back a little bit and then give you a view here so you can see. Now I'm using my spatula here just to move this here, the paper, and There is my son's name. Just trying to get this little part out here. So here it is. It's the condensed version, the little skinny lettering here. I'll show that to you right here. Okay, if you can see that. So that's what the condensed one is. Now I did print some other letters here just so that you can see some of the lettering that it does do right in here. It does print uh, designs as well, just depending on what type of cartridge you get. But this particular one prints this. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I will be posting more videos. And again, this video is for people who are thinking about getting these machines. Um, and don't know if a smaller unit would be better. I know that there's other units, more elaborate, but those, you know, require um, internet access, a laptop, or a computer. This one here, all you need is your cartridge, the power cord, some paper in your mat, and you're ready to go. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.